about my map. This is the way how Diaz started his speech. Do you remember? He started with a great introduction about what he's going to say and then he said, my name is Diaz. So he has a clear introduction. Then he connects with audience and he shows his excellent visual aids and he's like, do you know what it is? Do you know what kind of app it is? And you were all calling out the names of the map, of the apps. Like Google Meets, ChatGPT, isn't it great that you sell something that you know? And Diaz was standing here and helping out. And then he connected his slides, and um, he, it means that he has a good visual aids, charts, schemes, logos. Did you notice like these arrows? I was really amazed as a teacher and as an evaluator. I was sitting. And as a, as a person who listens to the speech, like, it was like a pleasure to my eyes. Was it for you? Did you like this case? Yes. Okay, <laughs> great, great. All right. Although, uh, I'd like to note that you were dependent to your slides, like some kind of way, and you were standing just like here, right here. But you can use more space. Go here and say, hey guys, what do you think about this one? Mm -hmm. Or Go here and like, what is the answer? What is the answer? What do you think? And people are like, environment, and you're like, yeah, damn, environment, and you show the next slide, you see? So your lack of usage of space, and I recommend you to use space more, but um, you have great body language. You were using gestures, everything was very smoothly. I was uh, looking to your hands, and they were just, that it was very smooth and connected to your speech, so I didn't see any kind of destruction with body language. Although uh, I noticed that in the middle of your speech, uh, when people were calling out the options and you were giving a feedback, you were trying to clear your thoughts or you were thinking and there were some filler words. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? But have you noticed it, guys? Did you notice? No, I didn't. No. Yeah, yeah, same, same. He even used filler words that you didn't even notice that he was using filler words. You see, if I wasn't an evaluator, I wouldn't even notice that he's using filler words and he's thinking about what to say next. But um, it is great, you see? So everything was very smooth and audience didn't even notice that you were using filler words. So I also recommend you to add some pauses because when you said, if you not trust me, trust science, you quickly skip to the next presentation, uh, next slide, and I noticed that uh, people didn't like, didn't get the joke, and I recommend you to say like, if you don't trust me, trust science. You see, using vocal variety, so people get the joke. But uh, your pictures were so connected with uh, each other, and you made an excellent QR code, so I'm very grateful. It was such a wholesome presentation. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay, good. So, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's move to our next evaluator. Uh, uh, yes, we, we need to give our judges one minute uh, to make their notes. Next evaluator is 
Timur Kasimov, I'll invite him. Welcome, Timur Kasimov. I'd like to introduce you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So, yes. So, yes, we should start. I should start with I'm not IO audience because I know only YouTube and Google <laughs> Calendar. <laughs> the science. So, but the topic was interesting for me. And I saw people shoot your slides, so it was interesting for public. And one girl always smiling and nodding for you. So it is very good. She, she liked your speech. Or maybe even you. <laughs> But some guys yawning, and they yawning so wide, so I saw them from behind. It is not good, but it is 50-50. Girls like you, boys not very, very, very. Uh, but it is good to be loved by girls. And you can ask this Dima Bilan and Justin Bieber. Girls audience more grateful. So it was complicated topic, but... Uh, and such topics better read than listen, because you can reread if you don't understand. But it is good for you that you give name of book and links, link. If some interest in your topic, they can follow. Uh, very good gestures from you. You were like, you like Italiano. <laughs> but you will stick to slides. You will not use place. Yeah. Uh, and uh, your voice was very clear. I sit in the middle of the room and I perfectly heard, heard you. So I think you have, you have good potential. Public love you, especially girls. And <laughs> if, I, if I will create some form or another tools for girls, I love you to advertise. <laughs> so this is my relation for you. <laughs> structure, presentation, he was well prepared. And the research, it was well informed, delivered nicely, and you can easily, easy to follow. I could really tell you improved your uh, body language skills. I can say that uh, it was easy to follow you. You said internally, you showed me to yourself. You said that, uh, how, or structure, you gave me structure, you said, this one, this one, and this one. Especially at the end of the day. You're so tired. But when you look at Diaz, you can easily understand it, what he was going to say. 
And uh, I noticed that when he asked the questions, lots of people answered the questions. And you were engaged. The thing that I like most is that um, you provided different resources as well. Books, site, uh, websites, where people can go after, your, after the session. It was really useful and a meaningful presentation, which is our goal, isn't it? I also noticed the number of ums, so, that, then it was a little bit more. So, if you, what if you use less of them? How would you, how your speech look like? How it sound like? The thing that, the next thing that maybe vocal variety, how, can you imagine if you use like less, slow down a little bit, so other people can perceive what you said. They have time to perceive it, so it will be easy to follow. There are other things that, is it? Lots of, lots of good things happening here, providing resources um, and the clarity. Your presentation was so clear; it was easy to follow. To summarize. I was impressed by your speech. I enjoyed to hear that. I, I get some, I have, I have a disability. I, I know something new today about mind maps and how to use them. The next thing is that uh, if you keep working on your uh, like word fillers and the pacing, and you use your strengths like body language, presentation, visual aids, I'm sure you have a good potential to be even better speaker. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to hear more speech from you. Thank you. So one minute to ask yes, the question. Yeah, I'll just can take my seat here. We don't have to sit. <laughs> <laughs> I think she understands me. One minute to ask for our time. How many evaluators? Five, we have today. Yes. So you have five. <laughs> Can I? Every single thing is going to be evaluated today. Can I present the uh, second time? Because all that after the five feedbacks, I think I, I will understand everything. Maybe you'll do it on table topics. <laughs> Uh, audience. 
I liked um, technical tools he used. I liked uh, vocal variety and uh, that um, visuals were perfect. And also um, he uh, made us think that mind map is really the best tool for um, learning. And uh, he was keeping in contact with audience, asking questions, making people think uh, critically, making consequences, and um, also he made also advertising for his Telegram channel. <laughs> and what Diaz might want to work on is uh, body language. I think he was um, a bit uh, more connected to slides, like standing here, uh, near, and he might uh, be more expressive using all this um, uh, scene, uh, bright jests, and in conclusion, I would like to say that using all these um, tools, technical schools, tools, using knowledges, uh, contact with audience, and adding to add to this um, local variety using ups and downs of his voice and um, body language would make uh, Diaz um, have another successful project in his life and will uh, have him be uh, a great speaker in the future, what I uh, wish uh, to him. Welcome on the stage, Dana Agabieta. 